John, early in the season, you guys, super fast tempo, a lot of threes. Last two games, more more like your teams usually play, and scoring in the 70s. Was that a conscious effort to make that well, switch? Well, they made a run, and I wanted them to play defense instead of letting them get out and go. So this will be game-to-game -game stuff. You feel the game. What do you have to do to win the game? Who needs to be in? Some games it's this guy, some games it's another guy. The guy today, and why I keep coming back to March, today was Antonio. When one guy can go do what he did in those games, it's huge. Well, we also have Rob, we have Reed, we have DJ. We have multiple guys that can go and do stuff like that. Now, the question will be, and everybody, you know, anonymously talk about our defense, but the defense, they know they got to get better. They know. They know we've got to rebound balls in traffic. We got to do stuff. But, like, I, I don't know what, you know, I know that there are people that would say stuff to try to hurt this thing, but the reality of it is, what did you see today? Now, what can you write? They are so bad defensively. That's a top 10 offensive team. And it's a top 10 defensive team. The reason you don't want to play wild, they get steals, and that's what gives them gas. If you don't turn it over, and we turned it over 11 times, 12 times, and DJ and Rob had four each. So that meant the other guys weren't turning it over that much. So held a top 10 team to 30% and 18. I don't know. I guess we could do better. Did you see I went zone one possession? <laughs> just to do it. I said, how about we go zone one time? Let's just try it. We got nine stops in a row, coach. I said, stop. Let's just try it. You guys want to try it? Yeah, go zone. And the reason it works, we don't know what we're doing. So how the hell can you prepare for something that we don't even know where we're going to go? Yep. Yep. They did, and uh, uh, Adu made some unbelievable plays. Ugana was ridiculous again today. Um, Reed was really steady. I would have loved for him to made that three at the buzzer. That would have been like, oh my gosh. But it's you know, now we go on the road again. We're we're pretty good. For some reason, we're better on the road than we are at home. I don't have the answer, but we are, and it's probably. Maybe at home, we're expected to win every game because we've won 90-some percent of our home games. So we're expected, and the crowds have been off the charts. So now you go on the road, and you got no chance of winning, and now they play looser? Maybe. I don't know. But we seem to be better on the road than we are at home. Cal, when Ugo has the reputation as a shot blocker, how much does that change your defense? It seemed like there were a few times tonight where they didn't challenge him, where maybe a month ago they would have. Right. And, and But you got a do in there doing the same kind of stuff. And what, what we're trying to do is how do we make sure he's around that basket? Well, the guy he's guarding most of the time will drift that way even if he starts out. So I was a little worried that they would spread out and keep them out, but they didn't. So he was able to get near the basket. And one, they called a foul that was an unbelievable block. Um, I don't know how many blocks he had today. What did he have? Just had two, wow. 11 rebounds, seven points, two blocks, one assist. Not bad. Cal, did you, did you change up your ball screen coverage, or did guys no. just start doing no. what you've been wanting them to do and more aggressively no, it's, attacking them? It's been the same. It's been the same. John, I wonder if it makes sense. It feels like that Antonio arrived as a shooter, but he's going to leave UK as a basketball player. And, and not only that, he's a three-level scorer. He's at the layup, he's got that floater mid-game, and he's got the three. The biggest thing he's doing is he's defending and he's coming up with rebounds. How many did he have today? Five. I mean, come on, five rebounds? And he's a knockdown shooter and make free throws? He's made himself a pro, is what he's made him. He's going to have an opportunity like the six guys, one seven, that I'm going to go watch tomorrow. I am flying to Indianapolis 
hopefully get together with the families, and then go enjoy seven guys in the All-Star game. You don't care about basketball. Why did he go up there? Are you crazy? Do you understand it's a record? Julius is getting train, uh, his shoulder work on, so he's not going to be there. But the most ever from one school in an All-Star game was four. That's by us. But it was four. So we got seven without Jamal, without De'Aaron Fox. So all of a sudden you're talking about let's get half the guys in that game. And, you know, they learn to fight. Every game we play is either game day, never at home, but it's game day on the road. And look at this crowd. I can't believe all these people are in here. All right, I'm going to go because I got to get to Indianapolis tomorrow.